Colonel, I know there uh, you inherited a lot of uh, technical debt over there at the Space Force and uh, been on your own journey over there. Space Force been around for a moment. Give us a top line on uh, the, the various activities that are going over there to modernize that environment. Yeah, thanks, Luke. Uh, we're in our fourth year now uh, as a service. Congratulations. Uh, within the Department of the Air Force. Um, you know, we, as one of the two services in the department, um, by design, a couple things happened, and we did inherit a lot of tech debt. Um, but when we look at uh, our enterprise IT environment, um, we directly, as a Space Force, contribute to several of uh, Mrs. Goodwine, the, the Department of the Air Force CIO's uh, lines of effort, um, cloud adoption, cybersecurity, looking at our workforce and requirements for data and AI. So we directly contribute to those, but by design, um, we rely on the Air Force for really our enterprise IT and our core services. So when I walked in the Pentagon today, you know, I'm logging on to an Air Force administrative network. The right. Space Force, we're, we're focused on mission networks. Um, and there certainly has been a lot of tech debt um, that has accumulated over the years. The service is only four years old, um, but the systems that we're operating have been around for quite some time. Um, and so, so we're working on our mission warfighting systems. Um, we project power uh, through our Space Force bases. Um, and so uh, being able to operate in a domain remotely, it's incredibly important for the, the information technology and the data uh, to be able to support those operations.